my penny tile backsplash is what I will show you how to make right now. To make one just like mine, you'll need two 12 by 12 sheets of mosaic tile and a board to glue them to. I will be using liquid nails in a caulk gun and non-sanded grout. Hold on one sec. The difference between non-sanded grout and sanded grout is that sanded grout has sand in it, and so it has the potential to scratch shinier surfaces. I was nervous about this, so I went with non-sanded. To start out, you're gonna wanna get an idea of how your tiles fit together. The tiles come on a mesh, which is awesome because it helps keep all the little pieces together. Once I know about how the, they'll fit together, I can prepare my liquid nails by putting it in the caulk gun and getting ready to lay down my first stripe. From here, what I like to do is lay down a nice big thick stripe of glue and then use the putty knife to scrape it into a nice even smooth layer. Once you've got enough to cover the whole first tile, you wanna gently place it right on top and into place. The liquid nails are nice because it's not like an instant bond, so if it's a little off, you can adjust it to a point. And then just make sure if you get any liquid nails on the surface of your tiles to wipe it off as soon as possible because you don't want it to dry, it would be really hard to remove. Before I press my first tile down, I like to set my second one in place just to make sure I'm not gluing it at a diagonal. And once I'm happy with that, I apply a last minute bit of glue to most of the edge tiles just to make sure that they're in securely. And then I apply even consistent pressure to the whole piece so that it's nice and flat and I know that there's glue on each piece. When I do my second piece, I wanna make sure that the line in the center is not too thick or too thin. I don't want the tiles to touch, but I don't want them to be too far apart either. I want it to look like one continuous piece. And once I like where it's at, I press it down and let it dry overnight. The next day, you wanna prepare your non-sanded grout. This one is super nice because it comes in a little tub. I can add water to the line, mix it up in its own container, and go from there. So for this one, you mix it till it's smooth, and then you wait 10 minutes for it to set up, and then you give it one final stir. It should be like a really thin toothpaste consistency, and then you can use that same putty knife to put the grout in between all of the tiles. If you've got a, a mosaic that's a lot less intense than mine, this part won't take as long, but you know, just make sure you're consistent, applying enough grout between each and every space so that you don't get holes. And then once that's done, you wanna wait for it to dry for about 10 to 20 minutes or until it feels like it's set up a little bit, and then prepare a bucket of water. I didn't have a bucket, so I just lined a cardboard box with plastic bags and uh, filled it with water. So here you can see I'm making my sponge damp and I'm gonna go ahead and try and remove that top layer of excess grout. Keep in mind this part does take some time, uh, so be patient, put on some good music and just get all that extra grout off. And when I say all, I mean most, <laughs> because there's still gonna be what's called a haze, which is just a really thin layer of extra grout that's left over on the top and that's totally fine. So once you get, again, once you do this part, you let it dry for about two hours and then you can use a cheesecloth or a paper towel to remove the excess haze, which is just kind of the really, really thin dried layer of grout. This is before the tiles are fully dry, but it's dry enough along the whole thing that you can you know, remove the haze. So this part is where I noticed that my tile or my grout job didn't look very good. So I spent a lot of time meticulously cleaning it up and making it good, filling holes and shining it up as best as possible. But the end result was so worth it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.